Hey, how you doing? I'm here with Ed from Partagas. Uh, Ed, tell us a little bit about the cigars that you guys are giving away today at Cigar Fest. Well, uh, this year at Cigar Fest, we are showcasing our Partagas 1845 cigar. Now, we launched this last year in April. Great fanfare. It was a beautiful line extension for this heritage brand, Partagas. It has 100 years worth of heritage. Uh, and it, it just needed something new. So when I came up with it, I designed a box for it. Uh, we picked out a very nice, uh, enjoyable blend. I didn't want to pigeonhole myself with a full-bodied or a mild blend. I wanted it to be um, a really good, flavorful, medium-bodied cigar for a good price. A um, lot of story. We have a band here uh, that I recreated. This band was a recreation band from Cifuentes y Fernandez uh, back party, maybe around uh, 1900, 1915. And we loved it. It's got the eagle on it. It was it was a trade dress from that period of time. Uh, we fell in love with it. We recreated it. Uh, the blend itself uh, has a beautiful Ecuadorian Habano wrapper on it. It's got a Connecticut Habano binder, and it's filled with uh, Nicaraguan tobacco, Lajero and Seco tobacco from three different areas of Nicaragua, a little bit of Dominican Lajero in there as well. So it's got a really good medium body profile. It's not, it's not full bodied. It's not mild. It's just right in the middle. That, that sounds absolutely fabulous. And I know you can find Partagas all around, all around the world. If people want a little more information, though, um, where can they find you online? Well, we have uh, Partagas1845.com is our website that, that solely focuses on this cigar. Okay. Um, we also have a corporate website, uh, cigarworld.com, that also has uh, not only Partagas, but Macanudo, Cohiba, La Gloria, CAO, all those guys. So if you really want to learn a little bit more and be interactive with our brands, uh, those are two websites that you can go to. Fantastic. Anything on the horizon that you want to uh, right. whet appetites as some of the people that listen to the show? Right. So when I launched this in April, uh, four sizes. We had a Corona Extra, which was four and a half by 46 for kind of that 30 minute smoke. Okay. Um, we had a Robusto size, a uh, Gigante size, and a Double Corona, which is seven and a quarter by 54. This year in May, we're going to come out with two new sizes. We're going to have a 10 count crystal. So it's going to be a box, and if you haven't seen the box, you really should. It's really cool, um, but it's going to have 10 Robusto-sized cigars in crystal. So it's the perfect uh, acquisition you know, box for you going there. You want a box. It's got 10 cigars. It's not going to break your wallet. That's perfect. right? We're also coming out with um, a Toro Grande, which is 6 and a quarter by 54. So the Toro and the Robusto are just classic sizes that everybody wants. People are gravitating more towards a larger ring. So I wanted to have that, that good solid Toro in there too. So it's six and a quarter by 54. So it's gonna last about an hour, 15 minutes, hour and a half. So fill your time with people that you like to hang out with and you know, have good beverages, have good conversation. That's really all it's about. You know, Partagas has been talking for, for 170 years. Like it's time to carry on this conversation with this new kind of breed of, of, of cigar. So we're trying to break the mold of, of kind of the old kind of retro aspect of Partagas with the yellow box and the black label. And we're trying to move it more into what we're seeing with, with the cigar consumer now being very hungry for new and fuller bodied cigars. You know, and that's really what 1845 did for the brand. You know, that, that's fantastic. Now, I have to ask, uh, Vince and I always talk about uh, our preference in terms of size of cigars and a cut on cigars. So can you give us your personal preferences? Well, as far as the size, you know, believe it or not, um, you know, when I launched Benji Master Series, we had this traditional size that Benji Menendez really liked, and it was a 6x46. And I actually really like, um, I'm a big Lancero fan, to tell you the truth. Now, um, <laughs> And sometimes Lanceros don't really fit well into kind of the first rendition of cigars, but I really like the, the 46 to 52 ring cigar. Um, the bigger the ring gauge, I like to punch it, but the smaller the ring gauge, you know, um, I'll just cut it real lightly, um, you know, because, you know, there's something beautiful about the cigar and the construction, and, you know, if you cut it too much or you punch it too hard, you know, it just cracks the head and, and it really causes problems. So. You know, with the cigars I smoke, I've been smoking a lot of the Master Series in my office. Um, again, the 46 ring, and it's just, it's a perfect hour smoke. You know, it's just, it's a beautiful thing, man. So that's that's me. You know, I know a lot of guys are moving towards like the 7x70s and the 8x80s. That's not really me. 
You know, I'm with you on that. Uh, both Vince and I agree. We kind of prefer the Robusto right. being the middle of the road between getting enough flavor and enjoying the flavor um, where we've had enough by the time we've finished it. And uh, we talk about regularly on the show how we've seen a trend towards these larger cigars. And, and while we don't discriminate, and we hope we know some of our listeners absolutely are those people, it's just not really for us. And it sounds like you're the same way. I'm the same way, you know. Um, but as far as the flavor uh, standpoint, you know, the bigger ring, you got more tobacco in there. So, you know, it is really going to change that profile. I just, for me, I just find that the, that the smaller ring just kind of allows it to burn a little bit hotter, yeah. you know, and, and, you know, that smoke gets to you in a way where, you know, there's a lot of flavor. I agree. So. Well, hey, listen, I don't want to keep you all day. You guys have a lot of fans showing up. So thanks for taking a few minutes to talk Absolutely. to us today. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks for your support, guys. Thank you very Thank much. You. I